Good day and thank you so much for clicking on this video. It's a new year 2022 and we are bringing in new strategies as well. So today I have a scalping strategy that you can apply on your volatility indices instrument. Okay, before we get down into the video, I want to say something very important. Even if you have the best strategy, it won't work. You won't see results if you are impatient. That's the most reason why people don't progress is because they are impatient to wait for the right moments. Just like how you want to skip this video right now before it even finishes. <laughs> Impatience. But anyway, let's get down into it. We need two indicators in order for us to successfully apply the scalping strategy. So you're going to go to your indicators on your phone. The first one we are going to add is your Bollinger Bands. Make sure that the parameters are like this, okay? Make sure that uh, the period is 20 and the deviation is 2.000 and the shift is 0. And make sure that you apply it to your close. This is really your own preference, which color you want it, and the pixel. Okay, so that's the first indicator we are going to add. The second indicator we are going to add on the main chart as your stochastic oscillator. Okay, so you need to make sure that your period here, the first strand remains as it is. It's your 14. Okay, others like to put it on a 60. Just check it out yourself and see which one works best. And then the second value should be a 3 and the following one should be a 3 as well. And make sure everything else remains like that. And our levels, which are going to give us signals. It should be your 20 and your 80. All right, done and dusted. These are our two moving averages. All right, so how do you make this work? Number one, this is called a stochastic oscillator. All right, so as you can see here, we have this 20 level and we also have this 80 level. So if this line, these two lines, if they are above this area, we say that price is overbought and if something is overbought then we should start selling it okay so once price gets here on this level you should be ready to start selling okay and the same is true the side if it's below your 20 it's oversold and you should be ready to go all the way up with it okay so make sure that it sort of really gets in the area as opposed to it just you know touching it just make sure of that and then let's go to our Bollinger bands so how Bollinger bands work is that they act as your support and they act as your resistance so when price reaches the upper line for example of the Bollinger band that's more like a resistance Okay, however, you cannot trade this indicators individually. It's going to give you a lot of inaccurate signals. So make sure that you combine them with something else. Let's discuss what we need exactly to see a buy. So you wait, not a buy, an entry. So you wait for price to be either overbought or oversold okay and then you also wait for price to reach the bullying event okay you're gonna wait for that and you don't just enter just because price is at the bullying band or anything like that and this is what i mean here's a very clear example of what i mean look at this from here from this point price was literally above the 80 area so it was technically a selling signal but look at what happened price kept on going up and up and up and up and 
at the end it went down after giving us this candle so it's very important that you wait for confirmation on top of these indicators combined all right so let's just go back and see examples and what previous data uh, did let us start here on the 4th of january 2022 and let's see what would have happened okay so as you can see here price was literally over the 80 area and if you check here above sorry and if you check here above we are actually at the resistance of the balinga band there we go okay and then look at what happened after that so this was a sell signal we had a combination of an over what is this overbought oversold and over Bought, since it has to go down okay and overbought and it's also at the resistance area and look at what happened it went all the way down and in it going all the way down imagine you're gonna be in and out really so look at this it was oversold as well and look at what happened here and this proves what i said to you guys just because it's here it doesn't mean that you should automatically enter the trade you should wait for some sort of confirmation and that's what exactly happened and it went all the way up let's continue to apply even more examples there's another one price was literally over the 80 area and then it was here on our resistance and it went down with that huge candle the new m5 here's another one here as you can see on the support of the balinga it was also over the area it went all the way up and it came back and was below the area as well below your 20 so it was technically telling us that we want to buy and we had a confirmation here on what is acting as our support and it went all the way up let's do just a few more application of this um here's another beautiful one right here it is on this area which is acting as our resistance and here's over the 80 area and it went all the way down so as you can see guys like i said please make sure that uh, your psychology is on point because all of this really is going to be useless if we do not get our psychology right anyways we have reached the end of the video actually no we haven't please watch this live application on vix 100 as well let us go to the last example of the application of the strategy on VIX 100. As you can see, price here is literally overbought. And here it's on the area of the Bollinger Band that is acting as the resistance. And as you can see, it is dropping massively. Thank you so much for reaching this part of the video. Please do like the video and show some love in the comments. I really appreciate it.